Chris called me. She said she was in Detroit. I'm only an hour and a half from here. I don't have to train till six. So I said, of course, I'll come out and uh, support Chris Cyborg against her fight against Holly Holm. And she was there with me, you know, getting ready for my fight at my presser, at my weigh-in, at the fight, front row and center. So I'm, I want to do the same for her. Yeah. How did that relationship first come together? Like, where did you guys first meet? Who put you in touch? How did that all, you know, really come about? Social media. <laughs> I mean, Instagram, Twitter. Um, you know. I knew of her because I've I've watched her fight, um, of course, quite a few times uh, on the UFC, and then of course she seen me box. I was getting ready for the Olympics, and then going to Rio. I know that she's um, she's Brazilian, so um, she was like pushing really really hard and telling everybody to watch me and like Chris she was gonna be in Rio, and then after Rio, um, well be well. Just that time we were always like social media, but we always wanted to meet up and spar, you know, meet up and train together. But the way that the way that my schedule was for the Olympics, I really was just doing promo interviews and promo shoots, commercials and training. So I didn't really have time. So after the Olympics and I was in Vegas, she hit me up and was like, hey, you want to come down to L.A. and get some work? And it was after my, I don't want to say my June 16th bout. I had just fought an eight rounder. And she asked me, asked me if I would come spar with her, and I said, yeah. So that's when we first met in person. And uh, she's more cooler in person. You know, she's very nice. Um, we had a chance to spar together, eat together, um, train together, and it was it was fun. Yeah, her Twitter persona doesn't really match up with her in real life, right? She seems much more calm. And, you know, on Twitter, she's getting very, uh, you know, saying some very outlandish things, stuff like that. I don't think it's outlandish. I think that it's just um, you can't expect somebody to be the same. I think when you're like box and you have an alter ego and I think her alter ego speaks. <laughs> That's what I think. I think on, on social media she's, you know, Chris Cyborg the beast, you know what I mean? But then off of social media she's, you know, Chris cool, laid back, funny. You know, not really, n nothing really gets to her outside the ring, you know, but stuff that comes to, that comes to boxing gets to her. I think I'm the same way on social media, honestly. <laughs> fair, fair play on that. And I know, you know, what happens in the training room stays in the training room, but when you first you know, worked with her compared to now, what would you say the differences are, you know, your initial impressions on, you know, her skill set when you first met her and then now that you've spent some time training, where would you say she is now? Um, well, we only, we only train together just that one time. I think you like two days or something like that. But I know she learned a lot from that day. You know, and um, I gave her a lot of tips, and she gave me tips on if I ever wanted to come over to UFC, which I don't look forward to. Anyway, I'm going to try to stick with boxing as long as I can, as long as I can make a million dollars. But um, she learned a lot that day, and she's very athletic. I mean, one through ten, her boxing skills to me are seven. You know, she's very athletic, she's strong, and if she puts 100% into boxing and actually learn it, she's going to have an easy transition over to boxing.